dead in trespasses and sin, wherein times past he walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience, among whom also we all had a conversation in times past in the lust of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature the children of wrath, even as others. But God, who is rich in mercy, for his great love wherewith he hath loved us, even when we were dead in sin, hath quickened us together in Christ, by grace are you saved, and hath raised us up together and made us sit together in heavenly places that in the ages to come he might show the exceeding riches of his grace in his kindness toward us through Christ Jesus. For ye are saved by grace and not that of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works lest any man should boast. For we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus unto good works wherewith God hath before ordained that we should walk in them. May the Lord bless the reading of his word for the edification of our souls. I hear the word in my heart that I might not sin against thee. Give God another hand, amen. I know it's raining outside. This day won't, this day of uh, fair weather Christians will fall apart on a rainy morning like this. They and I'm gonna get my clothes wet. I just hope the Lord don't come back when it's raining. Oh my, oh my. I'm thankful. But listen, I don't wanna bash anyone that's not here simply because. It is COVID. It is a very, very uh, tedious hour of the day as it relates to the epidemic. And I don't want anyone to come to church nervous. I don't want anybody to be uneasy in church. Since when did that get right? Now, you're coming to church uneasy. So it's best that you stay home. But if the Lord has giving you an unction to be part of the fellowship. Then mask up and come on and get with the fellowship. Come on to the meeting. And we're going to be open until the Lord says so. Amen. Give God another hand. He's so worthy to be praised. Amen. Amen. It's prayer time. I'm going to ask. Uh, I'm praying this morning. I need to pray. I need to pray. Before we would pray, there's some specific, one specific person I need you to keep in your prayers, and that's our own uh, member, uh, Pete Peters. Pete is the one that uh, sits John on the, uh, on, as our tech on the soundboard. Uh, Pete contracted COVID, and he got really sick. And... Uh, Ron and I, we, we all work out together, and he was in decent shape, but uh, the COVID really brought him down. And then we were calling him every day, and for about three, four days, we couldn't reach Pete. And I uh, started to call around with people that knew him and uh, asked uh, some individuals to call the neighbors to see if he's, if he's home. And, and, and Pete was, uh, Lights were out at the house, and that's unusual. He leaves a light on, and they didn't notice that his car was parked all the way in the back. And we don't know how many days Pete was laying in the house. He had suffered a heart attack. And he was laying in the house there, and uh, we got him. We got him to the. Uh, they broke in the door and got him out. He's in General Hospital now, and. Uh, from what I understand, he suffered another heart attack once he got uh, to the hospital. But he, he's recovering slowly, slowly recovering. Oh, what a mighty God we serve. So I'm going to ask you guys to remember Pete. Uh, his name is Emil Peters. And we just, we call him Pete. And he's a near and dear friend of Pastor Glenn, and especially Ron as well. And uh, some of you 
He's our member. He's our brother in Christ. Keep him in your prayers. Amen. Shall we stand? Eternal God, we come now first to say thank you, Lord. You've been so good. You have been so kind. You have been so gracious in our lives. And Lord, we have never experienced anything like this. We understand the flu. We understand cold. We even had thoughts with pneumonia and things, but never a disease that has impacted the world globally. So now, Lord, we ask that you would help us. Lord, we thank you this morning because you have not dealt with us after our sins, neither have you rewarded us according to our iniquity. But right now, Lord, we want to say thank you because your mercy and grace has sustained our lives even one more time. Lord, and today is the first day of the rest of our lives. And Lord, I thank you that we are here worshiping and praising your name. Lord, it's been difficult. It's a different world than where we came from. We haven't seen a day that is so, so uh, impacted with so much trouble and along with disease and the crime and, and, the, and the things of the world have not uh, cease to happen is just trouble in the land everywhere. And Lord, I thank you for just keeping us. We are kept by your power. So Lord, I will not panic. And I will not pout. And I'm not going to have a pity party. But I'm going to pray and I'm going to praise you and I'm going to put you first in my life. That's what I'm going to do, Lord. It's despite of the trouble, Lord, Oh, you've been so good to us. You kept us when we didn't want to be kept, Lord. We remember back when, when church wasn't a good idea, Lord. We were running the streets. Oh, Lord, you made us better. You made us wiser. You made us the one now, dear Lord, that we can call on you and, and respect the fact that you are God and above you there is no other. So thank you, Lord. You've been so kind. Thank you, Lord, you've been so compassionate. Thank you, Lord, you've been so great. Thank you, Lord, you're God like that. You're good like that. You are God all by yourself. And we want to take time out just to say thank you. Oh, Lord, oh, Lord how excellent is our name in all of the earth. Oh, Lord, you stop by our homes. You stop by our jobs. You stop by our Lord and touch us once again. Finger of love and graduating us to another day. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Lord, you've been so kind. Now, Lord, help us to go up a little higher today. Let us leave this place and say, oh, look at our hearts. Not burn when the man of God talked about the Lord on by the way. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. I'm going to just do a medley. <laughs> All right. Let y'all get seated. Amen. Amen. Give God another hand. Won't you do it? Give God another hand. Won't you? Don't you, don't you do that. Listen to this. There's a storm out over the ocean and it's moving this away. If your soul not anchored in Jesus, you will surely drift away. Come on. There's a storm out over the ocean and it's moving this own way if your soul now and in Jesus oh you will surely drift away one more time girl there's a storm out over the ocean and it's moving this own way now if your soul
instructions of Yvonne over to my right, your left. She will lead you around. Then you give us something we can walk to, and we'll go right there. Name, which is above every name, that at the name 
of Jesus. Every knee shall bow, things in heaven, and things in the earth, and things under the earth, and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to God the Father. Jesus, the light of the world. Heart the herald, angels sing. Jesus, the light of the
So elevate your right hand and repeat after me. God bless you. Minister Kevin, come on and preach the word. Come on. Good morning. Good morning. It's good morning, Kevin. Hey, I, I, I want the world to know that it's a good morning. Good morning. Yeah. It's so thankful and blessed to be here. First of all, I would like to thank Pastor Glenn and First Lady Deborah Glenn and the whole Macedonia church family for allowing me to get up and speak. Amen. I have been missing church on Sundays. I have to work. Amen. But God knows. Amen. He has a plan for me. That's right. That's right. And any opportunity I get to get up here and preach his word, I'm going to preach. Yes, sir. Come on, preacher. Let us pray first. Come on, God. Dear Heavenly Father, I come to you at this time with a humble and open heart. Mm -hmm. Heavenly Father, I'm asking you to forgive me of any sins, knownly and unknownly, Heavenly Father. And I'm asking you to set Kevin down and uh, lift your word up this morning so we can go out. Now I'm void, Heavenly Father. Somebody needs to hear it. Somebody wants to hear it, Heavenly Father. And we're going to let you move us to get that word out. And all these things we ask in your son Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. This morning, the Lord has put on my heart during this time in the world of things that we are going through. All right. yeah. yeah. And, you know, I, people know that I like music. I love music. I have favorite songs and lyrics. But there was one writer, one musician, who, if this song was in the world today, would be Billboard's number one all time. And that's Psalm 23. Yeah. Written by David. And in this song, no matter what you're going through, he states that the Lord is my shepherd. Yeah. I shall not want. Mm -hmm. He making me to lay down the green pastures. Mm -hmm. He leading me besides the still waters. He restoreth my soul. Yeah. Then do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I will fear no evil. Mm -hmm. Thy art with me. Thy rod, thy staff, they comfort me. He prepares a table in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, cup running over. Anointed my head with oil, cup running over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in of the Lord forever. Amen, amen. Amen. Let the Lord add a blessing to the reading of his word. All right, all right, all right. You see, church, I want you to repeat after me. The Lord is my shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. And ain't no stopping me now. And ain't no stopping me now. See, that was my favorite song from my fat and white head. And in this song, it's some comparisons. Because... You know, in, in the McFadden Whitehead, it says, ask some folks where they're going, they don't know. Right. See, and as a sheep, sometimes they get lost. They don't know where they're going. Yeah, it takes the shepherd yeah. to lead them. Yeah. You see? And the devil is always in the mix. See, the sheep could be sitting up high, looking down low. And that green Grass down there may seem or appears, and they somehow 
dribble on down, brings you on down. That's the devil calling them down. And then when they get down there, they're in Death Valley. Mm. Nothing but desert. It look green up on top. That's how it is in the world. We see something, we think it's green on the other side. Mm -hmm. And we have to go to it. Yeah. Not knowing that we have to make our own grass green yeah. and just as beautiful right. on this side. Amen. See, the Lord is our shepherd, the guidance. What is your relationship with the Lord? Mm -hmm. Guidance. I shall not want many lacking in anything. Mm -hmm. The Lord is our shepherd. I should not want. We shouldn't be lacking in anything. Because he's our great provider. Yeah. He's our great comforter. Yes, he is. In that relationship, he supplies all our needs. The Lord is our shepherd. Ain't no stopping us now. We're on the move. When he puts us by that still waters, we need that restless times. We need that quietness, that calmness. Yeah. In today's world, everybody's rushing. I mean, seriously. And y'all know I'm a bus driver. And I tell people, if you don't get up early enough to get where you're going, why rush at the last That's minute right. and That's cause right. an accident? I was in one in November 16th. Rushing. Why? God gives us patience. Your job is going to be there when it's get there. Your school's going to be there when it's get there. It's going to be there. Your home is going to be there when you get home. Why are you rushing? You rush to get to work and you rush to get home. When is the rush? The Lord is my shepherd. I should not want. Rush. We have to be patient because he's patient with us. How many times have we been disobeying him? You know, Pastor, we just talked about the, 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 the pandemic and COVID. It was people not coming to church before COVID. They wasn't coming, so COVID is just an excuse. And I, and I mean, I'm not, I don't mean to be uh, insensitive, but it's like, when everything's open up, I'm going to take the wisdom that God gave the doctors. I'm going to get that shot. I'm going to have that booster. Come on, because the world still goes on. You still got to go to work. You still got to get up and do things. You still have to go outside the world. You can't live in the bubble. If there's reality, we have to live with COVID. The Lord is our shepherd. Yeah. I walk on nothing less. Yeah. He is our provider. Also, discipline. Mm -hmm. He gives us this discipline. Yes, thy rod, thy staff. Mm -hmm. They comfort us. They comfort us. Mm. Yes. He's our protector mm -hmm. from our enemies. Yes. And sometimes we are our own enemies. There you go. I was saying that before. Say that. I was saying it before. Say it again. You know, uh, one of the things my wife Renee. And said that, you know, she said, you know, we 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 gonna just go ahead this year. We're not gonna make any, you know, you have those New Year resolutions. And I said, the only thing that I said I'm gonna do, because I miss Macedonia so much, when I get my first vacation time, I'm gonna put in my days for Sunday. Yeah. I said, baby, we may not be able to take that five-day trip or whatever, because I got to be here. All right, all right. I have to be here. Right. So God has to give us some vacation time, some personal time, to be here in the house of God. Yes, sir. That's what I'm going to do because I'm called. I am called to do his will. We're all called to do his will. We should, them doors open up, and we have an opportunity to come in here. We need to come because last week, two of my contemporaries, passed away. <clears throat> uh, Renee's uncle, his funeral is tomorrow. We all have our day coming. Yeah. One of the times that I remember that when I had to accept that one day I was going to die is when my mother 
put us to bed at night. I don't know if y'all remember this, but she would say, she would do this little nursery rhyme. I can't remember it now, but I do remember this. She would say, say this and repeat after me. Now I lay me down asleep. I pray the Lord my soul to keep. And if I should die before I wake, I pray the Lord my soul to take. And I said, Mommy, what does that mean, the Lord taking my soul? She said, well, that means you're going to go into a deep sleep. And he's going to take your soul before the devil gets it. And you won't wake up. That's what my mother told me. That's when I accepted the fact that, yeah, one day I'm going to die. But she said, in between time and in the meantime, All right. live it like you never lived it before. Some people are sitting around today Wait. waiting mm -hmm. just to die. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, and I understand when time and age get to you, you can't move like you used to. But if you are able to get up and put one leg on the floor, put the other leg on the floor, stand up! And take one foot forward, another foot forward, you up. Pretty soon you'll be walking. You may not be able to run, but you'll be walking. The Lord is my shepherd. He restores my soul. Restore. Revive. Rejuvenate. You know, see, you have to understand that, you know, we have these cell phones. And they're pretty good, but they have to be charged. Okay? You can't leave them on all night. You got to turn it up. Let it charge. Getting here to Macedonia recharges me. It should recharge you to get ready for another week. Amen? See, when he restores our soul, Lord, thank you. Thank you, Lord. I need that, Lord. You do what I needed right on time. You know, you knew what I needed. I need that rejuvenation. I needed that word this morning. I was so confused. Somewhere, somehow, the devil got in my mix. And Lord, I want to thank you for getting him out of the way. For letting me have my mind to be clear. To be able to think. Thank you for restoring that, Lord. Thank you for restoring that, Lord. Oh, yeah. He leads me in the paths of his righteousness. For his name's sake. The leader. Y'all remember follow the leader? You know? Follow the leader. We have to follow him. You know, we just celebrated his birth, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, as of today, we have 98 days mm -hmm. until Resurrection Sunday, April 17th, 2022. 98 days. What are you going to be doing in the next 98 days? We're in 2022. I always say, if you're doing what you've been doing in 2021, then you did the same thing you did in 2020, 2019, yet nothing's changed. Uh -huh. But if you say, you know what? I'm going to get up and I'm going to do whatever. You set a goal for yourself. See, God wants you to prosper. What was it? Uh, tw Jeremiah 29, 11? Yep. For I know I have the plans for you to prosper, not to harm you, to give you a hope for the future. Come on. Come on. Mm -hmm. He want to see you do well. Do you want to see you do well? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Follow the word. See, you know, uh, what is that when, when a woman gets married, they say something old, something new? Mm -hmm. Something old? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something new. The Old Testament and the New Testament. Is it going to be for you in 2022? Oh. Yeah. Come on now. Ain't no 
I'm stopping this now. We on the move. The Lord is my shepherd. I should not walk. He making me lay down in green pastures. Ooh, yeah. Come on, come on. Yes. Yo, I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. And we're going to have some hard times, Jesus told us. We're going to have troubles. We're going to have them. We don't live in utopia. So expect it. But to know that the Lord is my shepherd. To know that he got me. He got my back. That's who got my back. He has me. The Lord is my shepherd. I should not want. See, I remember, you know, we were all equals. I say this all the time. We were all equals as babies. Boys and the girls. We need to be fed. We need to be changed. We're all equals. Where are you going, preacher? I'm going where... When, when we came out into the world, yeah, yeah, yeah. then we start looking over here and looking over there and looking places we shouldn't have been looking and going places we never should have been going. Okay. That's what I'm talking Come about. On, but if it wasn't for the man who went to the cross, yeah. he went to the cross. Yeah. He was nailed to the cross. There wasn't a bone broken in his body. But he did it not just for me, but he did it for you, 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 and everybody in this room. See, if you really, really true, you at home and here, salvation is the key. Salvation and your relationship with the Lord is the key. Yeah. You see, these worldly things, we're going to leave behind. And I will tell you, we will certainly take nothing with us. All right, all right. But I also say when I find out that you're a millionaire or a billionaire, if you want to spread the love this way, <laughs> I'll I teach you how to spend it before the time is up. I put it in a good place. Amen. 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 The Lord is my shepherd. I will fear no evil. I will fear no evil. That's our trouble today. We fear too many things. We don't step out on faith. Knowing that the Lord, again, has plans for us. Knowing that the Lord is our shepherd, we always fear. We don't step, we don't take the opportunity. See, God opens doors and closes doors. But when one open, you better walk through it. Ain't nothing but to do it. You better walk through it. Don't justify on why you shouldn't walk through it, because then you're going to be stuck. And then you're going to be blaming everybody on why this didn't happen or that didn't happen. Thou will jump down here to five because I talked about the rod and the staff. They comfort me. But thou prepares the table before me in the presence of my enemy. You're going to have people out there that's going to be against you. Right. Especially as Christians. Oh, who do they think they are? They are. Let me, let me tell you something. I'm going to tell you something. See, remember I said we were all equal? We start down here. But the Lord put people in our lives left, right, up and down. Mm -hmm. And some of us started to move. Come on. Like this. All right. <laughs> now, when you get like this, you look down, and the person say, oh, you done got up there. You don't remember who up? I said, hold up. You need to be up here with me. Amen. You see what I'm saying? You still doing the same things that God put me up here. I want you to be up here with me. But I'm not going to hit, hit heaven by saying yes to everything, and then what's going to happen? bring me down to your level. 
You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, you need to be up here. Yeah. I remember uh, I saw a, a thing Magic Johnson says he has to tell people no now because see, he he said he's no longer doing fifty thousand dollar and a hundred thousand dollars deals. He said when he when he when he left that and, and went to a million, he started setting his mind on making billions. So the persons who was bringing them the deals, they were still trying to make their first million. He said, I done made mine. I'm trying, I gotta tell you no, I'm trying to get up here. When you come up with a deal that's gonna get us some billions, then I'm gonna say yes. And that, that's, that's, that's the same, the Lord wants so much for you, do you have to give your life because God sent his son and he gave his life. So where are you at with your life right now? When you give it to God, oh, I'm going to tell you, when you give it to God, he's going to open them doors. See, when you were chasing after the wrong things or, or those idle things, you could have had them all the time. But see, it's a God's way to say, I'll give you that nice house. I remember I, remember, uh, I saw a thing where, where uh, uh, Steve Harvey says, if you, if you Ask for God to give you rent. He's going to give you rent. But if you ask him to give you a mortgage, he's going to give you a mortgage. See, we got to understand what comes out of these mouths. You can bring the life. You can bring the life. If you've got negativity, then that's your life. Negativity. What they call a Debbie Downer? You know? Have some positive and congratulate somebody. Love and respect, not hate, neglect. Congratulate. Be proud. That's your brother. That's your sister in Christ. They're doing well. Thou anoint my head with oil, my cup runneth over. That's the Holy Spirit. That's the Holy Spirit. He anoints us so we can have that Holy Spirit. Well, I'm going to tell you this morning that surely goodness and mercy yeah. shall follow me all the days of my life. And I'm going to dwell yeah. in the house of the Lord forever. Yeah. Where are you here this morning? Are you ready? The Lord is your shepherd. Yeah. The Lord is your shepherd. Yeah. I should not want him. He's making me lay down <laughs> in green pastures.
church are open. Singleness of mind 
and a trust in you that will never doubt because you can surely bring us out. I claim that victory in the name of Jesus and thank you in advance for all that you're doing, all that you continue to do in our lives. It's in Jesus' name we pray and give thanks and all the people of God said amen. If all minds are clear, oh, before we leave, before we leave, Bible study, Bible study starts this Wednesday. We do it online, but I meet at the church. So anybody that wants to come, we Zoom and we are here. On Wednesday night, we start at 6. We finish a little after 7 o'clock. We'll come back to Bible study. Also, First Lady, do you, you want to do that this Okay, after church, First Lady has uh, test kits, COVID test kits uh, that you can take to do the home test at home. If you want a test kit or somebody in your family may need one, she's only going to give you one per person. We don't have many of them. We're going to get more. But if you want a kit, you can see the First Lady after church. She'll give you one of those test kits. You can take the COVID test yourself. Don't have to be out in the midst of everybody and take the test. It'll let you know if you're positive or negative. You gotta, be, you gotta understand that many of us probably have had COVID. You're just asymptomatic. You've had it. You got that cold or, or got chills or whatever, and it was actually COVID. But because of your makeup, because of your vernacular, because of how you made it, you may have a strong uh, uh, immune system that it warded it off. So, uh, but you can take that kit, test yourself, because you may not have had a symptom, but you can give it to somebody else with a weaker immune system, and they could get very sick. It's good to see my friend, uh, Terrence, he ran upstairs, but I want him to run downstairs. Terrence, come down here. Get down these steps, uh, T. Burton. Get down, come up here. Come all the way up here. Right, keep, keep your mask on. Come on up here to me. And before we leave, sing anything pretty you know. Just one stanza of anything pretty you know. Everyone's got a special someone in life. Jesus, Jesus happens to be mine. Oh, everyone's got a special someone in life. Jesus, this happens to be mine. Right, come on, come on, help me, come on, help me sing it, y'all. Everyone has got a special someone in line. Jesus, this happens to be mine. We're gonna sing it one more time. Oh, no. Everyone has got a special someone in line. Jesus is happy to be mine. That's my song. You better believe. Those fellas have grown up in national recording artists all over the world now. And I remember when they were in their teens. Bad as fire. And they leave and go into the store in between service. Oh my goodness. They and the Lord start working on the, You know what brought them around? They fooled around and got a gas bill. That'll humble you, won't it? Oh yeah, got a light bill. Yeah, that'll, 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 that'll keep you from playing a lot, joking a lot. Won't nothing be funny. Amen. If all minds are clear, let's stand and go home. Woo! Now the God of peace in the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit and Jesus Christ our Lord rest rule and abide with us all both now and forever. Let us all say amen.
said.